I'm going to show you how to film this cereal box into this. I spent a whole week perfecting a way for you to create the most accurate Hannibal Lecter mask with just two templates, a cereal box, and some glue. But wait, there is more. Stick around till the end of this video because I'm going to unveil some draw dropping props I've made using the very same techniques you're about to learn in this video. Before we dive into the crafting process, make sure to grab my free templates from the shop. You'll find the link in the video description below. Once you have them, it's time to get started. These templates are your blueprint for this epic project. Now let's get those templates ready for action. Take your printed templates and carefully cut them out with a pair of scissors. Once you've separated these patterns, it's time to bring out the cardboard. You can use cardboard from several boxes, Amazon envelopes, or even that tissue box that's been lurking at the foot of the bed. You see what I did there? <laughs> Just keep it thin around one millimeter or less. Glue them on your cardboard and cut the pieces with a precision knife, a box cutter, or very sharp scissors. For this mask, you'll need a dynamic duo. One template for the left side and one for the right side. Cut them twice and voila, you've got your four pieces. Two lefties and two righties. Using white glue or any type of PVA glue, stack the two left sides on top of each other and do the same with the two right sides. Next, gently manipulate the pieces to make them more flexible and close the notches with glue. I personally used a 15 watt hot glue gun that I purchased from Amazon and you can find the link to it in the description box below along with all tools and products used in this tutorial. Repeat the same process for the right side and then glue both sides together in the middle. So as you can see in the back, this channel is all about creating epic props from movies and shows using nothing but cardboard. So if you are stuck about that as I am, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. This way you won't ever miss out on our upcoming exciting tutorials. Now let's get messy. Wipe up a mixture of white glue and water with two parts of water to one part of glue. Tear up some brown paper, the kind you find in your Amazon deliveries. Soak those bits in the glue concoction and give your mask a peppery spider. Feel free to use a little tool like a sculpting clay tool or something similar to get up close and personal with those hard to reach spots. Now, if you don't want to paint the mouth grid later, cut squares from a grey paper, but if you're planning on jazz up the mouth grid as I'll show you in this tutorial, just keep using that trusty brown paper. Roll them up tight, soak them in the same glue and water mix, and stick them behind the mask, spanning the mouth opening. As mentioned, I'll be painting the grid, but if you used grey paper and applied glossy varnish, you'll still achieve a great metallic effect without the metallic paint. Finish by applying two layers of glossy varnish to make the mask shine and ensure its durability for years to come. For the finishing touch, I used an elastic waistband for sewing to make the mask straps. It's a cinch to keep this bite boy in place. Now let's kick it up a notch. Click on that playlist video right here to dive into a world of cardboard horror crafting. Inside you'll find tutorials for Jason Furry's mask, the man brewing predator mask, Pennywise raising head, the tail frying xenomorph head, and many more, all made with carbon and way beyond what we've done with this Hannibal mask today. So don't miss out on this epic adventure. Click now to get ready to be wowed, and I'll see you in the next one.